in the Redneck Garage. If you watch the video from yesterday, there's a link. Uh, I painted the cab, and it, for the most part, turned out great. If you watch the movie Sully, where he's taking off and and he's going, uh, oh, and then boom, and they're like, oh, it's a bird strike. Well, that's what I experienced yesterday. Uh, there's a link to the video. The clear coat turned out absolutely beautiful. I was so happy with it. The U-Pole flowed out great. It looks special. And then I heard plop, plop. And as the sun was going down, all these bird flights were going over as the birds flocked into the trees behind the shop, which I never, ever would have thought. And crept right in the middle of the roof, which uh, did not make me happy. I was reading comments from you guys, and Bill, one of my old-time subscribers, who I always appreciate his words, he's like, I don't see how you don't get uh, upset or frustrated with stuff. And then I'm like, oh, yesterday I was frustrated. And yes, even today I'm still dealing with uh, being a little bit mad about the bird crapping all over my paint job especially as nice as it turned out. However, we move forward because that's all you can do. <clears throat> I've got some touch-up to do. <laughs> some bird crap removal to do on the roof. Uh, and where I touched it with my leg, yeah, there's a little bit of touch-up to do. However, overall, the paint looked beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to put in the front and back windshield and the back window. I've got a new one of those because whatever touch-up I do, the edges of where the windshield's going to go in uh, looks beautiful. So I can touch up and not have to worry about that. When I took the old windshield out, I broke it because uh, it was urethaned in and I didn't take enough time to worry about it, thinking, oh, it's easy to get a windshield. It's not easy to get a windshield for an 88 model Toyota. I ended up finding one in a junkyard in Murfreesboro. The trim that goes around the front windshield of these is atrocious. Uh, I think it's like 400 bucks, 450 to buy a replacement trim to cover up the edges. So I've bought a rubber uh, replacement gasket that's supposed to work well. There's supposedly two different sizes of windshields and one will work and one do doesn't. So I don't know. Uh, I've got a standard windshield with the rubber thing and we're going to try to install it. And if it goes in, then great. If not, then I'm going to have to go from scratch again. But that's where I'm at today is trying to get glass in it. And then I'll probably start working on the doors because it would be really nice to get the interior finished now that the cab is mostly done except for the uh, embedded bird crap. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, the clear coat on this, the U-Pole, was really easy to work with. I really loved it, except for where the bird crap is on the roof. Um, but... I'm going to attempt to get this windshield in, and like I said, I think I can touch this up. Uh, even if the windshield's in, not a problem, because this is nice and coated. No rust. Looks great. This is nice and coated. No rust. Everything looks good. So I'm going to attempt to get that windshield in, uh, which will look really cool. <laughs> Here's the windshield that I have. With the rubber placed on it, I gotta get it on this edge. And I'm hoping that even though this is the larger size, it will go in there. A um, lot of misinformation on the windshield action on the Toyota pickup trucks, and they're not easy to find, I can tell you that. Okay, so here's your answer. As far as the windshields go, this is a standard glue-in windshield. It was glued in to the old one, and you can see how much room it comes up above the roof. There is no way, no way at all. So the rubber in here is gonna go down far enough to actually be able to put this windshield in. So yeah, this is a fail as far as that goes. Um, I'm gonna have to find a different windshield. Oh, this is aggravating. But I mean, it's a good half inch maybe here at the top. So that is not bueno sucks out here with baby yoda who is my problem child right now progress has come to a stop <laughs> today i was going to discuss uh the wonderful thing about toyota windshields from 84 to 88 they are awful um it's got chrome trim that goes around it and to replace the chrome trim let me let you have a little guess you can still get it 
those uh, there, there's a piece on the top the bottom two sides and then four corners right made out of chrome it's a real small it's a real light gauge chrome and it goes around the windshield only in the United States by the way in the rest of the world they use rubber gaskets and just set the windows in but I believe because of like um, crash ratings if you glue the windshield in it becomes more rigid so I think that's why they did it however those what one two four those eight little pieces of chrome will cost you 500 bucks now at some point I may say to heck with it pay $500 get some chrome in here and glue this windshield in however that is not what I want to do I've got this rubber gasket which um, should work whatever uh, I'm gonna take the gasket off the windshield put it up inside the truck frame that I'm having to resand because of my bird strike that we had and I'm gonna kinda see where we're at with that but I have read uh, on a Toyota forum that if you sand off the windshield about roughly a half inch on the bottom and uh, a quarter inch on either side then it will fit into the opening I've also heard that if you grind out the uh, edges you can get it to fit in there now both of those things are pretty radical I can't you know I'd like to have a spare windshield if I'm going to do something like that and I really don't want to grind any metal off the Toyota because there's no rust uh, around the windshield frame which is pretty common on these so that's going to be uh, like a hard no on that for now anyway so I'm going to take this rubber off of this windshield and see what it looks like when I put it in the frame. Looking at it, it actually does look like the windshield is too big. A little bit. So I'm going to take it off. I'm going to see what it looks like actually in the window frame. Or the flanges. Whatever you want to call them. Alrighty. Toyota windshield proof of concept number one. The gasket fits perfectly. I mean, it looks great. I love it. Much better than the chrome. So, I want to use this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is set the windshield up there carefully, carefully, and see where it lines up on the rubber to see if maybe I'm missing something or just not real smart. I don't know. One or the other. I set the windshield up here and I set it about where the glass would be. Just, just guesstimating. And indeed, this windshield is way too big to fit in this opening. In fact, it, um, it actually goes over the actual opening. So there's no way this windshield is going to fit in its current state. So indeed, that is true also. Now, as far as sanding it off, man, I don't know. I could try it, but if I break it, who knows? I didn't know if you could see it, so I thought it would get a little bit closer view but you can see the opening is right about here right about where this is so um, that would probably be correct if you took a half inch off the bottom and then a little bit off the sides it probably will fit it's just a matter of uh, sanding down a windshield I've never done it and I don't know if I really want to do it but I'm gonna to have to come up with some solution so I got in the forum Yoda Tech and read all the thousands and thousands of posts about windshields and there's this one cat at D. Piante and he actually showed the measurements and everything to actually sand down the windshield to make it fit into the rubber gasket and he was one of the only ones that had a lot of sense about him. I don't know where they get these people saying you can just use that rubber gasket and use the standard windshield because it don't fit. So anyway Randy's going to come over and help, he said. And that's basically how much you had to take off right there where I stopped. And then some on the side. So I'm going to get it marked off. I've got it cleaned up. And then this thing's going to fit. But, as far as like the painting goes, I'm going to stop here on the back. Cut it right here at that line. Because this back portion is beautiful. Everything was beautiful until the bird crapped in it. And then I'm going to redo the top. I've got some more sanding to do. Um, and take the rubber back off. But that's... The game plan is to get this repainted. I got seat samples coming in to get a tweed upholstery. So I'm hoping that at some point I will start putting a fork in some of this. And there's the part that I'm missing that I threw away. How awesome is that? Then I can start on the bed. Oh, the hood. The doors. 
and the fenders. Awesome. So, oh man, who could this be? All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jesus. Hey. Randy's here. Uh, Come on in. It's cold out there. This is locked up like Fort Knox. It's not like Fort Knox, I can tell you that. Oh, it's cold out there. It is. What's going on? I uh, just got home last night. Just got home last night? From Buckcannon, West Virginia. Oh, that sounds fun. I'm not going to touch anything. You can touch it. It doesn't matter. It's already it's already jacked up. It's already messed up. Uh, I'm having to edit this part. Damn it. Nice, okay. <laughs> nice eight-hour trip. Oh. Or eight. No, maybe eight and a half. I don't know. Long. Oh, no. It started out nice, and then we, until we get into the rain, you know, around here. Uh, well. Anyhow. Well, well you're here now, so that's good. Yeah. We're going to have a beer. All right. Let's drink. Bye. All right. I've got the windshield ready to sand. You can see it's all marked off where I need to sand it down to. Shorter on the sides than the bottom. And hopefully I won't destroy it. That's kind of the goal. So it will actually shorten it up. I can see where it's actually sanding some of it down, like especially like right here. You can see that's a inner that spot goes in further. Um, it's going to take a while, but it feels like I'm not going to actually destroy the windshield either. So I'd rather take a little bit more time. I would rather take a little bit more time than destroy it and just keep sanding on it. But it's going to take whew, a little bit of time. I don't want to do it inside the shop because I really don't want to be breathing in all that uh, glass dust. Oh yeah, this is one really nasty job. I'm getting really close though. I, you just bevel both edges and then sand it in the middle basically. I gotta go get some more sandpaper though. The 120 is really, um, it really won't cut it. So I probably got another hour of sanding maybe at the most. You can kind of see where I gotta work on that edge but it's looking really good. That was nasty. Let me tell you, gross, 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 but should be good. I used the belt sander for most of it, and then at the end, I got out the old Milwaukee fuel with a sanding disc on it. This thing worked great, so you might have been able to do it um, completely with the uh, sanding disc, but the belt sander actually worked pretty well too. So um, I think this will go in no problem. I'm going to look it over real close, hit any little bitty spots that need it, and then wash it off. Okay, well I'll tell you this, the rubber does fit a lot better than the last time I tried to do it. It was just so stinking tight I couldn't even get the top on. So I'm going to stick it up there and we'll see how it test fits in the um, frame of the truck. <clears throat> Alright, I got the windshield. I put some uh, armor all on it. And I've got the string installed to pull the gasket out. I need to push that in just a little bit. So I'm going to give this a shot to see if it'll install all right i'm getting a little bit excited you see where it's rolling over here uh, and there's a little bit more on the front there but i'm getting it where it's going across so holy moly hopefully this thing's almost in there this has been a chore but sure is going to be nice oh lord look at here look at here it was a very very tight fit with the rubber gasket 
um, I could have taken off another at least eighth of an inch all the way around and it would have fit just fine so um, that was a conservative takeoff of 3 8 and 3 16 on the sides but let me tell you it looks absolutely gorgeous and it has been I want to say three to four years since this truck's had a windshield in it so this is really moving forward I, I love it um, I did get a couple scratches right here they should be they're light I've got some uh, glass polish to to try out on it but if that's the worst that happened I can live with it everything else looks absolutely beautiful no cracks um, awesome all right so today I actually felt like I made a lot of progress. I finished sanding up the windshield, which is not for the faint of heart. Um, if you do decide to do that, make sure that you wear a respirator and a goggles to keep that silica where you're sanding off that glass out of your eyes, mouth, face. Yuck, it's nasty. It really is nasty. There are a couple videos on YouTube about installing a windshield with this rubber gasket into an 84 to 88 Toyota pickup truck, and unless you shorten it, um, I don't know how you would ever get this in there, and if you did, it wouldn't be in there very well. So, I mean, the only way to get this really in there correctly is to, to um, take off 3 eighths of an inch all the way around the bottom and 3 sixteenths on the sides, and you could actually go just a little bit more on the bottom, uh, give you a little bit of leeway, but that's the only way that I can see that the windshield will actually fit in there. So, um, it was a nasty job, but uh, the results are actually amazing, so... I'm happy with that. I got the rear window to put in. Uh, then I can start on the hood, the cowl, the doors, and the bed. But I feel like crap tonight, truthfully. I've got like some respiratory thing going on. So I can't even smoke a cigar and feel halfway decent. So I'm going to go home and just feel good that baby Yoda's got new glasses. <laughs> I appreciate you watching. appreciate you subscribing. Any questions, comments, post them below. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep! Turning wrenches.